Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing to monitor the ongoing civil war taking place inside of the former state of Ethiopia. Now, today, we can confirm that there seems to be a lull in the fighting. Uh, due to the uh, Ethiopian New Year. Uh, and uh, I'd just like to say Happy New Year to all the viewers who are uh, watching the uh, program uh, as we continue to uh, cover this uh, vicious, vicious war. Now, with that being said, we have seen uh, video evidence of the uh, continued surrendering of a B-loyalist forces uh, in the south in the direction of uh, Weldia. Uh, we have seen some recent uh, video footage that uh, shows uh, a B loyalist forces uh, quite literally surrendering upon first contact with the the uh, Tigrayan defense forces, and uh, even even more interesting is uh, following uh, that surrender uh, by the B loyalist forces, the uh, the Tigray uh, defense force uh, then allowed. Uh, those uh, captured uh, prisoners of war to utilize cell phones, their, their cell phones, to uh, contact loved ones, let them know that they were now prisoners of the Tigrayan Defense Forces, and uh, in all probability would be heading up north towards a, a prison camp uh, in, within the vicinity of, uh, of Mekele. So very, very interesting to see uh, how quickly uh, some of these uh, B loyalist forces uh, and or Amhara um, regional forces, uh, the, the, the video evidence that we saw uh, displayed actual uh, uh, B loyalist regulars of the ENDF, the Ethiopian National Defense Forces, that had in fact uh, surrendered. Uh, they appeared to be in uh, relatively good, good condition. They had not been molested or anything of the sorts and uh, uh, went into uh, captivity, uh, apparently from what I was seeing, smiling. So, very interesting to see that uh, happening, and it, it almost gives one to believe that uh, that some of these uh, B loyalist forces are just there because they are there, and as soon as they come into contact with some of these Tigrayan defense forces, they then surrender. It's almost like an expectation that that is going to happen. Very, very strange. A part of the conflict that I've seen so far. Now, obviously, in other other uh, areas of the conflict zone, we have seen vicious, vi vicious fighting taking place, and, uh, and 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 not the same uh, visual picture of some of these recent pictures of videos that we have received of some of these forces, uh, just of the be loyalists, just uh, just giving up and uh, not really wanting to fight at this point. So uh, it, it does go to, to show you that in all probability, uh, morale is, uh, is fairly low with some of these uh, be loyalist forces, and uh, they really have, and at least some of the units, uh, based on what I have seen, uh, have no intent uh, to engage in combat with the Tigrayan Defense Forces. So very, very interesting as we continue to follow this, this uh, development in the way some of these uh, be loyalist forces are surrendering. And right now we have reports to include the uh, be loyalist forces that surrendered in the uh, prior uh, counter-invasion by the Tigrayan de force, Defense Forces into the Amhara region. There are now close to over 15,000 ENDF or B loyalist forces now held in captivity uh, by the Tigrayan Defense Forces. That's a significant amount of forces to have been captured uh, by a, a semi uh, conventional fighting force, which is the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces. And the way I say the reason I say that is we, we see both unconventional activity by the TDF and at the same time. Uh, we also see more or less conventional uh, uh, fighting taking place or conventional uh, tactics being used by the uh, Tigrayan Defense Forces as well. Again, uh, as you look towards Weldia and the areas near Kobo, uh, that, uh, that attack by the Tigrayan Defense Forces into the Amhara region was more conventional, uh, as is some of the fighting that is taking place near Sakota and uh, Lalibela in this area. Uh, in the west, in western Tigray, in areas uh, north of, uh, of Debark and towards a DRK, uh, that is more of a, 
a unconventional type of warfare taking place with the Tigrayan Defense Forces. So very interesting uh, types of warfare that we are seeing uh, within the confines of this uh, this conflict. But uh, that uh, pretty much does it for today. Again, Happy New Year, and uh, we will have uh, more content uh, very, very soon uh, once we get it. Uh, we're watching some things very, very closely and hoping to obtain some more information about what is happening on the ground here uh, very, very soon. So uh, be patient, and we'll have it. And once we have it, we will absolutely report it for you. And as always, have a good day.